Hey everybody, Jim here with your daily dose of Japanese gaming goodness. It is the import game of the day, and today's game is Tobol 2 for the PlayStation. This is a 1997 release that was developed by Dream Factory and published by Squaresoft, and it is the follow up to the very awesome. Tobal number one, and while that's certainly a great game that I had a ton of fun with back in the day, Tobal 2 is a better game in pretty much every regard, which really makes me ponder why it was passed over for an international release. It features more or less the same gameplay from the first game, although some tweaks have been made for better playability. This is a very smooth and responsive 3D fighter that I always felt incorporated a certain refinement to its gameplay that I didn't really get from many other 3D fighters at the time. It's fairly easy to pick up and play, but mastering it is a whole other story, but you can start having fun with it immediately, regardless of your skill level. Also, all of the first game's playable characters do make a return, and they are joined by a couple of new characters and with this game's expanded adventure mode, which features multiple dungeons and a whole lot of different types of enemies to defeat and capture, the roster of this game can actually be expanded to 200 characters when you factor in all of the dungeon enemies you can unlock. So it's a great fighting game overall with plenty of gameplay modes and unlockable content to enjoy, and on top of all of that, it's also a very good looking game for 97 standards, with its colorful and detailed graphics and very smooth animations at 60 frames per second, and you can't go wrong with the Akira Toriyama character designs and absolutely awesome soundtrack that makes this a complete package. Not enough 3D fighters in your PlayStation collection? Grab a copy of Tobol 2, you'll be glad you did.